Despite this, maybe you've looked... Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Alan, and here's what I would look like if I was a banana. Hey, guys, I'm Alan. Humans share roughly 60% of the same genetic makeup as a banana, and we share about 90% with cats. Compared to another human, you're 99.9% .9 the same. So could there be another you out there in the world somewhere? A genetically identical twin? In fact, more than the same genes, but the same experiences. Is there an exact doppelganger of you somewhere that made all the decisions you wished you had but never did? Unless you're an identical twin, it's almost impossible for there to be an exact genetic copy of you on our planet. Every human has around 3 billion base pairs in their genome, and although we have many in common, there are some differences. In fact, by one approximation, if you were to write out your genetic code, it would take 262,000 pages, or about 175 large books. And only 260 pages in that entire collection would differ from person to person. It's not much in the context of your genome, but it's enough for us all to be pretty different. But could an exact copy of you exist out there somewhere in the cosmos? Hey, they only need one arm to answer this question. Poster. That could be the case if the universe was infinite. Infinity can be a pretty mind-bending concept to wrap your head around. If the universe is infinite, which is actually the model that best fits the data, then not only would there definitely be another copy of our planet and another copy of you on that planet, but because we're talking infinity, there would also be an infinite number of exact copies of you and an infinite number of weird, strange, or unusual copies of you too. But here's the thing. If the universe is infinite, then that copy has to be out there. And if you travel fast enough for long enough, you could in principle meet them. So, other Alan, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, original Alan. We'll start off easy. What's your favorite planet? Earth. Ha, <laughs> love that one. <laughs> there are a few other multiverse theories that could mean there's another exact copy of you out there somewhere. One is that we live in a bubble universe. Our universe begins with inflation. A single bubble universe created. But the multiverse theory says, what if inflation continues? Then we get infinite number of isolated bubble universes, some of these will contain an exact copy of you. OK, favorite planet, not Earth. Jupiter, it's so mysterious. <laughs> After the Big Bang, it's thought the universe expanded in every direction all at once in a fraction of a second. The inflationary multiverse theory states that the original inflation event has actually continued, just not in our little cosmic neighborhood. More little bubble universes like our own would be continuously created, meaning an infinite number of universes. Some of those bubbles might even have different laws of physics or constants of nature. But in some, just by sheer chance, they'd have the same conditions as this universe. And in an insanely small number of universes, they'd result in a you that has made all the choices that you've made and experiences that you've had until this moment. But insanely small isn't zero and something greater than zero times infinity gives infinity. So again, there would be infinite copies of you out there living in your own bubbles. Favorite color? Green. Me too. <laughs> and there are a few other multiverse theories too. One is that multiple universes might be floating at different levels in a higher dimensional space. So ours could be just one slice of bread amongst many in a stack. Another is based on the idea that mathematics might be the ultimate reality. And what we know as reality is just us trying to make sense of that complex mathematical universe. If that's the case, then we might be living in just one possible mathematical structure with plenty of others existing at the same time. OK, favorite football team? Hawthorne Hawks. Go the Hawks. <laughs> Many scientists say multiverse theory is just unscientific because there aren't really hard and fast ways to prove or disprove any of the theories. Or is there? In 2004, a scan of the radiation produced when the universe formed found a cold spot. And recently, researchers have suggested this cooler patch may exist because of a collision between our universe and another bubble universe. Now, I have my doubts about the collision of universes, but I am definitely confident in the latest research showing the universe is likely to be infinite. So is there another you? Astronomy suggests maybe. Star Wars, original trilogies, or the prequels? Original. Prequel. Oh. 
Oh, hey, other Alan. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Original Alan. 